gospel according to. Because Matthew didn't have a gospel. John didn't have a gospel. They had their different interpretations. Matthew, the 26th chapter, starting at the 14th verse, it says, Then one of the twelve, called Judas, I scare it, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will you give me? And I deliver you unto I deliver him unto you. And they convent with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Look at uh, the twentieth, uh, the twenty-third verse. And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. 25th verse, then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? I, is it I? He said unto him, Thou hast said. May God have blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. You may be seated. like to use as a subject, leave my Judas alone. Leave my Judas alone. I uh, found out that sometime in life it takes people and what they do to push us to the next level. Uh, now for saved people, you know, when people act up with us, you know, our next level is the level of maturity. Not cussing them out or fussing with them or trying to fight them, but our next level is leaving it in the hands of God. And sometimes we have to realize that what people do to us can help push us to the next level, uh, to our destiny in life. Uh, if I were to vote the house, I'm sure some of you will admit in this room that you have been betrayed. Betrayed is a verb which means to be let astray, uh, to be left hanging. Anybody ever been left hanging? Uh, to be delivered to an enemy and to reveal unintentionally. Uh, I don't sit here like none of y'all ain't never been betrayed. Uh, you remember sisters, that man, uh, Fred, uh, began to be Freddy Krueger. And, and he, he told you that he loved you. He was going to do all these things for you, but uh, you got into it. It was a different story. Uh, not just the sisters, but brothers. You remember that pretty lady who you took interest in, and Frida began to be Freddy Krueger. Uh, a man, and she started acting crazy with you. Uh, she, you thought she was so sweet, and uh, you thought she was so nice, but she uh, became to be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, 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 you know, a lot of times in life, people get let down. People get betrayed. Amen. Some of us could testify that uh, if we had not come across those people, if we, are, if we had not come in contact with those people, we would have never got to the next level. Uh, can I get with this? Uh, uh, but I come by here to tell you that David said in the 110th number of the Psalms, in verse 1, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou uh, at my right hand until I make the, your enemies, thy enemies, your footstool. Uh, how many know that footstool is to elevate you? Uh, uh, how many know if you have something in the cupboard at the house and it's kind of high and you're kind of short, you need the footstool to help you reach up there to get that seasoning salt or that garlic powder, Mama Smith, that garlic powder uh, or that seasoning salt. But I come by here to tell you, uh, sometimes we need our enemies because they help us get to the next level. Amen. How many know that your betrayers and your Judas in life help push you to purpose? Look at somebody next to you and say, they help and push me to my purpose. Uh, uh, some tried to warn you or stop you. Uh, uh, I was in something and I, I was in a friendship and uh, uh, people would tell me, oh uh, man, no, uh, don't do that. But don't do that. But no, I had to go through it for myself. Uh, to really see it, to gain a sense of awareness. Uh, to gain a sense of, 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 of knowing how to go through that situation. Uh, because you can never testify if you haven't had any experiences. Uh, so some people will try to warn you. Uh, some people will try to hate on you when you go through your bad experiences. But you need to tell them people to leave your Judas alone. Uh, don't bother my Judas because uh, they, all they're doing is helping me get to the next level. All they're doing is just pushing me to my purpose. And I get a witness in here. But as we look at the significance of our text, we see that uh, the day was the day of unleavened bread. Uh, unleavened bread, which according to the Jewish calendar is the day called Nisan. Uh, which according uh, to the Jewish calendar, this was the day between the months of March and, a March and April. Uh, uh, the months between March and April. The day actually began at sundown on the 13th day of 
will keep the Passover. Now the cross reference to that statement is in Luke, the 22nd chapter and 16th verse. Uh, and he added, he added, he said, I will not eat, implying the interpretation. Uh, perhaps here we see that Jesus did not want uh, Judas to be aware of his certainty of the details. Uh, and see, sometimes, you know, uh, folk don't know, they don't need to know uh, that you know that they get you. It's not even worth finding out. It's not even worth instigating. It's not even worth fussing and fighting. Oh, because all they're doing, uh, like I foresaid, is pushing you to your purpose. Uh, people don't need to know. Uh, you don't need to know that everybody is your enemy. It's good to just have some enemies. Uh, see, you keep your, if you do know, you keep your enemy close to you. Uh, we see Judas was one of the 12 disciples. And the 12 disciples are those men who walk with who? Jesus. Uh, and at this time, only Jesus and the 12 uh, were gathered together. Uh, only the disciples were present at this time. Uh, and at this time, before uh, this took, uh, before they took part in communion, uh, Jesus said, one of you shall betray me. Uh, see, some, you see, Jesus already knows. He, he knows our thoughts. He knows uh, what we're going to do before we even do it. Uh, even if, uh, the Bible goes as far as to say our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not his ways. Can I get a witness? Jesus said, one of you shall betray me. Man, uh, we can use our imagination, our spiritual imagination. The disciples were in shock. I can hear him saying, uh, is it me? They jumping around and saying, oh, God, no, I ain't going to betray you. You're my, my buddy. Oh, well, you, you're my friend. I'm not going to try to walk with you all this time. I've seen you perform miracle after miracle. I've seen you heal, uh, do healings after healings. I cannot betray you. Oh, because I can hear him saying, Jesus, I love you too much. Uh, but sometimes you have to be careful of people that say they love you. 